Don't let him get close to me. He's so feisty. Hey, that's too close. Ah! Stop. Stop. Ah! You're such a jerk. Stop being big. friends jennifer here with moreau family farm thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel today while we had all that cold weather um we had some issues kind of happen with some of the roosters and it's a common thing that happens especially in the colder areas of the world but we don't typically see that kind of stuff here what happened was is their crest which i'll kind of show a picture for you right here if you notice the color is it's a little off it's like tri-colored i guess you can say well what happens is when it gets super cold out it gets frostbitten and then they can get gangrene so today we're going to be cutting the crest off of our roosters it didn't happen to any of our chickens so the chickens are fine but if you leave it on there too long it could cause issues like gangrene we had a wind chill of negative 14 degrees here and it was like three degrees outside so it was extremely extremely cold and it lasted for a full day um and then the following day after it was still cold and then the following day after that it decided to warm up but then the following day after that it decided to snow so it was super super crazy weather um and with all of that stuff that happened it ended up getting our roosters um like frostbite I suppose and that was kind of the same reason why we ended up bringing in those baby chicks because we noticed that they were having a hard time walking on the snow and of course they're very young and still trying to build up their immune system um, but they still are recovering from those little blisters that were on their feet but they I believe that they're going to heal but there are a couple of them they have like crooked toes I guess you can call it and it's it's a common practice for people to trim the crest off their rooster. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. This is our rooster, you guys. You know him. What's his name? Rico? He has no name. No, he has a name. Alexia named him. Rico's over there. The other guy. So this is Suave. <laughs> Rico's over there. Suave is over here. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I don't know how friendly this guy no, is. but friendly. Okay. So right here on the top of his crest it is... Dead. It's dead and it's hard. It's hard and it's, it's not crusty. Supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like, yummy. Yeah, like soft this. and supple, rubbery kind of material. This is, and you can tell also because it's like in the front section right here, it's like still kind of thick where it might, it doesn't have any life though. No, there's, there's no life, there's no life there. The, the yellow areas is what's about to die and the black areas are completely dead. dead. Yeah. But we're just going to cut it down. It is not YouTube friendly, so we're not going to actually show I'm gonna take off the, the crest. cutting of... I'm going to take off yep. the crest and the beard and the little lobe here. What lobe? What are you talking about? Oh, that little flap right there. Right there. This here. Okay. Right. After we cut his crest and stuff, it is going to be very bloody looking. Um, you have to put... What is it you put on it? I put iodine. Iodine. I'm going to so he don't get away from you. Oh, Okay. I have not done this before. This is a new experience for me. No, hand on the bottom. Right. Oh, still hold his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I need to face me. See, I gotta go this way. You better hope he does not fuck me. Oh. That's what I'm telling you. Look, look. You, 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 you hold him like this. Wing. Right there like that. Away from your body. Away you from my body. Yeah, right? That, see that? Grab his breastbone under here and his wing right there. I'm gonna figure out which arm you. Yep, push that. Yep. In between the legs. So you don't squirm. And away from your body.
long does it take? No problem. Quicker than metering a pig? No. Oh, sweet. You can't put it on YouTube for, um, just like killing a, a cow or anything else. You know, you can't put that on YouTube. But this is important stuff. If we don't cut this off, he could die. He could get gangrene. Gangrene and die. So this is important. So what I'm doing right here, th there's this part, the uh, the beard looking part, and then there's like an earlobe one here. Put it towards so I'm really just cutting around it. I'm making sure there's no fat left. Yeah. So then you come here, you go over here. Again. He does not like this at all. Would you? No. But that is dead. It's a dead crust for the most part. Okay. And then there's an under part. This part's gonna bleed more because it has not, um, it did not get frostbite. As you can tell, like he's not squawking or screaming. Bring him back. What are you doing, them. the crust? I'm washing them off. Oh. So I can see. Oh, oh, oh. But really at the end of the day, it's the cold weather, man. Look, it, this yeah. time he got lucky. You can't see look, it. This time he, this time he, got, they got lucky. But look, that was actually it's dead. It's it's a, it's a scab. Yeah. But imagine if this rooster was a little weaker, and he gets this this part of their comb um, frozen to death, and that stuff dies, and then they can get infection of gangrene, mm -hmm. and that'll affect his whole head. And so, I don't want to lose my rooster. So, so these are preventative measures. But Basically. this is a game cop. Game cop, right. And they are also used for, um, well, game purposes, correct? Correct. So in Florida, where it doesn't get cold or frostbite or gangrene, what would be your reason for cutting it then? Well, if it's a game cop and you're going to fight it, it's for preventative. It's so the, so other, the rooster. other rooster that has nothing to grab onto. Right. So again, he's just cleaning it off to make sure there's no blood clots that form. Now he's going to, I'm trying to show them. Now he's going to take off that little flappy piece. This right here. Yeah. Okay. What about that one that's underneath yep, his that's beak? Okay. Yeah. So Antonio has been doing this for a long time, ever since he Ooh. was a little kid. This is my diapers. <laughs> Back in Miami, his dad had Gamecocks and, you know, he, he fought them because that's what a lot of people do and still do to this day. Yeah, um, cool. People still do it a lot. We don't do a it. Lot. I don't do it. Anymore. No, he doesn't do it. Um, he just really loves this rooster because this is the... Not just this rooster. I like Gamecocks. To me, the rooster, the Gamecock is the ultimate animal. They don't quit. They'll keep coming. They're like a machine. They're just... Like, like I said, like no other animal. Wait, going for the top, guys. This is going to be the tough part. Ready? I think.
basically now you can do a design however you please like i said this is really not cosmetics at the end of the day is really to help them out in the cold weather and also if you guys are not new to the channel then you know that there are times that um these roosters will try each other so it's also preventative if they ever get close to each other enough that they won't grab each other this water oh hold on this water i'm using is extremely cold which is good it'll help because it it shrivels up uh, capillaries veins and all that stuff yeah uh, another technique you can use you can dip your rooster in a bucket of really cold water so it slows down the blood system you know yeah um it's really chilly out here so see he's not bleeding as much basically no the the cold water is coagulating the blood Correct. So it's a messy job, you guys. It's not. It's not something fun. It's not something that uh, I don't, like I said, I don't we want to do. And another thing, now that we're cutting their crests and stuff, these roosters are not going to recognize each other anymore. This might be a problem. I have to lock them all up. Then. As soon as they are not recognizable, they will. But shoot, that can happen on one re real bad rainstorm. They all get wet. They all look weird to each other, and then they go at it and they'll kill each other. Yeah, if they stay out in the rain. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. they just look weird. You know, they're all wet and don't look like, hey, I don't know that guy. So he's relaxed. So now I'm going to put some of the iodine. iodine stuff on it. All of this nastiness will be gone in about a week. So yeah, this will be. It, it really heals quite quickly. That looks really ugly. Yeah, I'm gonna fix is it. it the hard part that you keep, but anything that's soft and flimsy you take? Well, because like on that crest on the top of his head, you don't cut it all the way down to the bare, that the crest, bare bottom. That crest, what I cut off there, I cut it to the bottom. I cut off well, the bad part. Well, there's still a nub there, is what I'm talking about. You talking about this? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, I leave yeah. him. I, I give him a little bit of a like a hairstyle type ish. Oh, is that what that is? So it's like a mohawk you left him with? Yeah. Oh, all right. You guys, if you are going to be helping your uh, friend, spouse, whatever it is to do this, wear old clothes. Um, not that the shirt that I'm wearing is new or anything like that, but um, I think I did get blood flung on my face. Nothing. Or I feel something next to my lip. <laughs> Nothing. But it's all right. It's chicken blood and I eat chickens. I eat chickens. <laughs> What is that? Um, oh, know. the chicken hawk. I'm, I'm a, a chicken hawk. I eat chickens. Man, this guy <laughs> wish he could eat us right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> That's horrible. Him up. Uh, if your rooster ever bleeds a lot from up here, what you can do is you can pluck a feather and place it on that where it's bleeding. Oh, just so it, it. Just a, or you can get sugar. Pour, pour some sugar like I do to the kids when I used pour to pull their teeth. Pour some sugar on yep. me. You can pour sugar on them too. <laughs> well, see, he's not bleeding a lot. Like I said, because the cold water helps her to her bleed. You can leave a little piece right there because what what it'll do? Yeah, it'll, it'll turn into a scab, and then when that scab falls off, it falls off with it. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Try not to spray my camera or me. This is blue coat. Cover his eye. Ooh, little graffiti sign right here. There you go, look. A blue what about rooster. the top? That in the back side of his that crest. That's where I see it bleeding the most for right now. No, I want to let him go. Let him go. In front of one of the boys. Give me. You want to bring your camera? Yep. Let's see what All right, so he wants to release him in front of one of the other males just to see how they're gonna react. Oh, man, he's going to scratch and scratch. He just took the cotton ball off. So we're going to see what happens now. Yeah, I already see it. But I think that one dominates this one anyway. The white one, I think, dominates all of them. No, he doesn't. He doesn't? He's scared of him. For now. But even in this one, this one was scared of him. But now look at the way he's acting. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? This is why I'm saying I want to, I got a super. Lady here. Lady over here. I don't want her in my see, picture. He, the white one right now at the moment, he's like, okay, I'm, I, I feel the pain, but I ain't worried about it. 
But look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. look, he's coming around him. Look, see how they're coming? Yeah. Now, he doesn't know what's going on. So why don't you just stop him before no, it no, starts? No, 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 no. So I want to see if he runs from him. Because I know he's scared of him. Right now, the problem is when I decrest that one, he ain't going to recognize him and then they're going to fight. Yeah. You understand? So regardless, they're going to fight. So why don't you put the white one into the cage I, at the moment? I want to see. Because even if I put him in there and anybody's loose, they'll fight through the cage. Well, that's true. Yeah, but they're all going to have to go in cages at this point. Yeah. And, you know, we weren't going to do this. Like, we weren't planning on cutting any crests and stuff like that because, honestly, we we have no need to do it because we don't fight them. Um, but because of this winter Arctic blast thing that came through here. He's just fixing his feathers now. Nothing. No, yeah. These guys are, I'm telling you, these animals, are their pain level is... It's off the charts. Yeah. They look. It's, he's 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 grooming himself. Yeah. You do that to me. You cut my earlobes off. You think I'm gonna be over there grooming? Them? No, you're gonna be crying in the corner. Yeah. And as you can see, like even on that one right there, his his crest is black. It's funny how they're walking sideways at each other. Uh uh, here we go. And then this guy's gonna come in too. So let's look at this one. Look at his whole crest. This is supposed to be a big, beautiful red crest, yeah. What we call rose crest in Spanish. Now, these guys are not used to being held, and I think this might be the first time that this one's been held. No, I've grabbed them before, but I don't this grab one. them often. Okay. So, you just scared. But look. Yeah. But look at that crest. It's yeah. dead. It is completely dead. It is black as black can be. So, I gotta do him Yeah. And this, and that one over there, I think, is even worse. Yeah, he is. I think he's worse than the rest of them. Like this? He's biting you when you're holding him? Yeah, look, and we're like this. Over yeah. here, look. Yeah. See how the tail? He's he gonna bite me. Look. Yeah, over my arm. Not under my arm. Correct. <laughs> He's gonna bite me. No, come on. And it's better if you hold right there to the shoulder. At the top of the shoulder? Yeah. No. Up here, way up in here. Like between, you gotta kind of separate the wing. I got it, I think. Okay. He was so nice and calm. I call the roosters pecker heads, obviously, yeah, because mean, they're mean. Because they're, they peck. Look at him, he's a meanie. Look at him, he's a, he's got eyes like a dragon over here. I'm gonna do your crest first, buddy. No. I need your cat to hold on to it. Why? Oh, because the blood. No, I need, yeah, because I need to hold on to it. So I can hold the bottom? Oh, to hold, to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You're going to hate us. Yep. Either he's going to be really mad, or he's going to really pick the head at me. Is that how it happened? Why is his head so far down like that? Is he going to peck at me? What's this guy doing? He's acting crazy. I think he's dead. You guys, he's, like, look, his head is hanging like he's dying. He's not dying. He ain't dying. I think this guy's all talking no action. He, he, he finally figured out, um, okay, right. buddy, you're the master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other rooster. Hold on. I told you, the red one, he's scared of the red one. But the problem is going to be when I clean that one up and then the white one don't recognize him. Yeah. That's when the problems are going to start. Because he's going to run away from that guy and not try to size him up. Is that what you're saying? So the red one, I don't know. It's the on. red, the white one is scared of the red one. So even if he fights him right now, the white one's going to run, right? But if I decrease the red one, uh -huh. the white one ain't going to recognize him anymore as the dominant one, the one he was scared of. Oh, so 
So then he'll go ahead and like, oh, it. oh, somebody new in the yard. Oh, okay, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like I said. But he's still walking nice and tall. Like he's oh, like, yeah, he's he's nice and tall. Yeah, that red one, he's, um, he's fiery, that red one. Yeah, he is. So what I'm doing, I'm, I, I cut around the edge of that little... Let's get closer for a sec. That earlobe looking thing that they have behind this one that's just under the ear. So I usually I cut around it. Let's see this little bit right here. And then and then I put his face in the position that he's going to sit, sit so in. You're, you're like squishing him up a little bit. A little bit just to see if there's extra. Because you don't want no extra stuff. You can hear how quiet they are. They don't even like, the only time you really hear them make a whimpering noise the initial is, not even then really, but it's when you do the, the crest on the top. That's when it really seems to bother them the most. And it is the thickest um, meat, I guess to say, or, or, you know, skin. All right, now really quick, I just want you guys to see up close again just how um <laughs> I want you to see how dead that crest truly is it is just really and if it gets crazy yeah wow. right now what would is going to happen if I leave it all this to die it'll probably fall off mm -hmm. but what if a little infection fits sits in and sometimes between and that, between the live part part and the dead part, like mm -hmm. I said, you can get gangrene. Yeah. And you'll lose your animal. And this one looks like it's actually dead further down than the other Way one. Way further down. If you guys because remember. Because this crest is, sh is shorter. The other one's a longer yeah, comb crest. More, yeah, more thin, yeah. narrow. Now, this, this thing one, is like, looks like he got crispy. It look, you know, it's, it's freeze dried. The yellow one mm -hmm. was almost, th there was like black on the very tip, but it was yellow. Like it was at that stage where it was almost right. dead. I'm sure glad I have my water boots on. <laughs> it's nothing else. All right. Let me dry them off. How you doing, bub? You good? This guy's a champion. You hear that? He's a champion rooster right here. He's a champion. Not yet. Maybe one day. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I don't fight roosters. We don't fight roosters. We really don't, you guys. We're not just... I'm just joking by saying that stuff. We really... reason, the reason why I don't do it is because after accepting God, being a true Christian, the reason I don't fight roosters no more, number one, is betting money and stuff like that, you know, um, letting the little animals kill each other. I'm not into that anymore, you know. Um, like I said, I do enjoy having gamecocks. To me, I grew up with them. I know they're amazing creatures. It's just what I like, okay? So, but really? Send him first. Then we're gonna untie him and Let him go. see what happens. Yep. Shake it off, mister. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. You're not so tough anymore, are you? Oh, he's tough. I can tell you he's so tough, he didn't barely squeal. One time, I think, two, two times. I didn't even know. He didn't flap his wings like the other one did. Mm -hmm. Oh, he looks neat. I like him. Oh, just keep him away from my hand. Um, he's pretty good. Just keep him away from my hand, will you? Now, let's see how this one acts with the red one. That's going to be the key. Who's the toughest out of all of them? Right now, the main, the dominant one is the little red one. All right, guys, here goes nothing. But this one dominates that one. Right. That's the thing. So one, Where's the red one? But now, the red one, whenever I catch that guy, that's... Oh, here we go. Lady here. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. 
Yeah, no, that's the call of the wild right here. Yeah. He's trying to call the red rooster. Oh, here he is. Here he comes. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> the red one, yeah. When Yeah, right them. What'd you guys think of that? Huh? Huh, little chickens? Don't mess with the rooster master. <laughs> let's, let's get a good look, and that's probably why they're all scared of him. Let's get a good look at this guy here. Another, another victim of false. Uh, don't let him get close to me. He's so feisty. Hey, that's too close. Ah, stop! Ah. He's such a jerk. Stop, you big baby. He sounds like a parrot, this guy. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you guys can see. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It just popped right off. Yeah, but I still got to cut it off. Yeah, no. So you guys can't see it. But it's showing you the opposite side. So, no, the piece that you just popped off. Oh, I just threw it. So if you guys can see. Yeah, if you pull hard enough, the whole thing will probably pop off. So, right it, here, it just scabbed off. It just popped off. That's where the other side. I can is. pull that black stuff <laughs> off with what my hand. What the heck are you doing to me? You better stop. I didn't do it. He did it. You're a turkey. All right, just grab the hook. God, wait. You guys, this is the story of my life. He's always messing around. Always messing around. Tickle, tickle. No, you don't want them even. Okay. As long as he's not digging into it. Yeah, he's fine. That's what I was checking. Like, tie it up. You guys can't see. I'm just doing like a regular tie. You put your thumb right behind the wing right here, under. And you go under the breastplate. You Grab the breastplate. Right here, babe. Right here. Grab the breastplate right there. See? And then... The correct way, like I said, is you put one finger between the two legs and grab the legs. And you hold them out. That's the correct way of really holding a chicken. Even when you're not doing this. You, that's the right way of doing it. You're not going to get hit in the face by a wing. You're not going to get scratched or nothing. Right way out here. Even if he's not tied up. You, you got full control. Well, I don't even have his legs. Hold on. Right now I'm cleaning with alcohol. You can clean with uh, iodine. Like I did on the first one. And I'm a girl with small hands, not tiny hands, but I have small hands and I can still wrap my hand around his wing and his breast. Look, he's, this guy's already sleepy. He's gonna, he's, gonna wake, he's gonna wake up in a second. He was already relaxed. You relaxed, mister? Not a good rooster for now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the earlobe, this is what I call the little earlobe, I cut around it because when you cut it if you go ahead and straight to the meat of the whole thing you're going to cut too much okay so what i do is i stretch it give it a, its natural i cut this all that fat stuff off mm -hmm. because then if if you don't let's say you don't get to this part in here it's it'll it'll be used as extra skin for us less of a scab basically Mm. Smaller area of... I see. You see what I'm saying? Less stuff that has to fall off Correct. and whatever. So like right here, look. See all that right there? Yeah, I'm going to go with this side first. And right up in here in this jaw area, where you can feel his jaw, you, sometimes you do got to cut in there, but there is a little vein. Then that's where it usually bleeds the most. 
is right in that little spot. You see the, that little fat, flabby part? I don't want to put my finger there because you might grab it. Yeah. But that little flabby part right there where he's going. Now, don't cut it yet. I want to show it on the other side. He, so basically, the only thing he neck. has yeah. left is this right here. Yeah. Is all this stuff? gone? It's nice and clean. This is a hard angle for him to cut, but you want to finish this side or do you want to? I'm going to go to the other side. Okay. And I'll come back to this. So look right here what it's supposed to look like from the front. Basic, a sliver, a sliver, nice and clean. A sliver, a sliver. You can't pull, you cannot pull the, what I'll, I'll call it the beard. You can't pull it and then cut because it'll take way extra skin. Oh, because by the time he scrunches his head Yeah, you took like all, nothing. you took that whole throat skin. Oh, boy. Yeah, so you got Yeah, that's important. Make sure you, you let yes. them know so that. So what you do is just let it hang normally. Cut, cut, don't, cut don't it. Don't overstretch his basically. No, definitely don't let it overstretch. You just stretch his head like this. Tilt and, his head. Yeah, you tilt his head and you cut. And then with a little extra, then you can nip that all off. Like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. And even sometimes I'll, I'll even overcut, like I said, on the white rooster. It moved on me, for, but what you gonna do, let's get this nice and cold. And you guys, this is my first time holding for this kind of procedure. She's doing great. Thank you. She's doing a spectacular job. Spectacular, you heard Stupendous. That? Stupendous. So look at him, look, look how nice and clean. Spectacular. Look at him, look at him. Oh, look looks good, he's not even bleeding. Mm -mm. Let me what? just take this little piece off right here. Oh my goodness, gushing blood. Just kidding. He's so full of it. Y'all notice I didn't even flinch. She flinched. You should have seen it. She almost jumped and went and got the fire hose and everything. The only one flinching here is you, but <laughs> mister. <laughs> All right, top time. All right, this I'm, is the most painful uh, This is the part I really painful do. This part. is to me, this one hurts me. But, like I said, if I was a fighting rooster, I won't feel nothing. But these guys, they're tough. They're not there yet. I'm not a fighting rooster. Yes, I am. My dad hears me saying that. Oh, uh, he'd be disappointed in me. Yo si soy... He said he's not a fighting rooster. Yo soy un gallo fino. <laughs> soy un gallo fino. <laughs> Ahí va. Ready? <laughs> yeah, now you got to hold. I know. Hold on. I'm laughing. Okay. I got it. So this, you kind of pull him a little bit tight for it. Well, I, or it's just I think easier. I grab his bottom beak. I'm going to stretch his neck out as far as I can. Maybe you should leave him like that. He looks like oh, a... Oh, yeah. What do you call him? He would like his own hair. The pheasant that has that weird... Um... It looks like one of those water dragon lizards. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. You know what it reminds me of when it gets down to this part? A strawberry. Yeah, it's a it's like red on the outside and kind of like whitish in the mm -hmm. inside. I mean, and, it, and it's even like textured. Like a strawberry, almost. Mm -hmm. He's just looking at Simmer. the Simmer. the roundness, I guess. Yeah. Kind of making sure that it all looks. There's a front view. Which I'll see. Look, barely any blood. I know this guy's. He did really good. Mm -hmm. You're a tough cookie, huh? You're a tough cookie, huh? You're a good boy. For now. I said that all of them. Yeah, you do. Well, because they are being pretty good for the most part. Mm -hmm. I thought this was going to be like a... Oh, gross. It's a little watery blood, that's all. No. I just thought it was going to be more of a fight. Like, with these guys trying to... Attack, the fight might and... start now. All right. Well. Release. Release. He's nice and stocky, ain't I think so. I think what we... <laughs> oh. oh, here he goes with his sideways walk. We spur each other. Uh, his body length. We're boosters is all body length. Like you see a guy coming at you like this. You know? Ducks. Boy, those guys are always ready to eat. So all they do is eat. So he just went to go get the, the other rooster. All right. So this is the one that was in the chicken coop. This is the one that is the father of all of them. And 
his crest was cut when we got him. We did not do this, but this is what it looks like after it heals. Um, you see that? Yeah. Look at the color of his eyes. Yellow. Mm -hmm. He's neat. Mm -hmm. I would, I'd like to let him go, but you know what's going to happen if I were to do that. Oh, yeah, forget. Don't let him go. We took care of the issue. They're all going to heal nicely. I'm sorry that it's a little bit more on the graphic side and not all of you are going to be interested in watching this kind of stuff. And you heard my husband, since he has become a Christian, he does not feel like it is right because for one, it's gambling and gambling is a sin. Um, and also it's kind of like cruelty to animals, even though it's brought on no matter what, it's not like you're forcing them to fight like dogs you force to fight. Chickens will automatically fight, but you're allowing a chicken to fight. I just want to add this in really quick. If you do fight roosters, I want to let you know that we are the type of people that we are not trying to condemn anybody. Like, that's not our job to do. We can't tell you what to do. If that's what you do, then that's what you do. Don't think we're going to hate you if you do it. Uh, it's just, it is what it is, you know? Um, anyways, we did it today because of frostbite issues. And as you saw, there was definitely some major frostbite. So it was done because it was a necessity. So you guys, it has been a few days since we have trimmed the combs. And as you can see, he looks really good. And all of our roosters actually, just to give you guys an update, have not fought. Um, I know we had a clip of, uh, I think it was this one and this one here that were attempting to fight, but they all know their pecking order and none of them have been fighting at all. So they are allowed to stay uh, free. We don't have to cage them up. So that's, that's awesome. It's been probably about, um, see, look, he's going to chase him off and he's going to run. He's not going to try to attempt to fight him. So it shows that he is the dominant one. So they're doing good. If you guys are wondering, yes, it is snowing. But I wanted to just record this for you guys to see the white one that he allows the orange colored one to be the dominant one. So even though the white one is more dominant over the, the one that has the yellow and the teal on him, the orange one is more dominant over the white one. So they know their pecking order. They know who's in charge and who's not. And, and they respect it. You can see them. They're going to chase each other. I mean, that's normal. They always did that. They're always going to do that, um, but they're not fighting and that's the important thing. And uh, they're all doing good. They're healing properly. And the little dark spots that's on the top of their head are gonna basically just scab off and, and fall off eventually. And then they'll look like their dad. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that you learned something. Um, something that I did recently here is if you put some Vaseline on their combs and their beards before a frost comes, then it can prevent frostbite. I don't know how true that is. We have never done it. Of course, my husband, when he had his roosters, it was in Florida. That's what I heard. So maybe that's something that we'll, you know, try in the future to prevent any, um, future roosters that we might have on the farm. But... For now, um, this is just what we did, and 
at least it stopped them from getting any kind of gangrene and we just took care of the frostbite and nobody got injured in this process of making this video so thanks so much for hanging out with us share this video with someone who you think might need to see this kind of information someone who has roosters and maybe had a frostbite issue and didn't know what to do about it um there is a way to cut it off you just have to uh you know stand firm and do what you have to do so until next time you guys be blessed we'll see you then Bye bye